I received a Nikon ZR camera last week. I am a hobbyist and brand new to using raw video files. As a first experiment, I compared my usual H.265 10-bit to ProRes, both non-RAW, and then to R3D and E to see if R3D and E quality justifies the roughly six-fold larger file sizes. I put some comparisons on the same screen so that I could pause the video for a closer look. Comments are welcome to help this newbie. I used two internal zoom lenses that I thought might be useful for run and gun video that should work well on a gimbal, especially the 28 to 135 millimeter f4 power zoom lens with the tripod foot on the lens. I note that as of now the ZR zoom toggle on the top right of the camera does not control the PZ lens power zoom, though I understand that should be corrected before too long with a ZR firmware update. Same for the ML L7 remote that will release the ZR shutter and start recording but does not yet operate the power zoom lens. I am new to and did not focus on color grading which is a bit messed up for the baked in codices with the wrong white balance. For the R3D, I changed the color temperature to 5600 in post. I was mostly interested in sharpness. Bottom line up front is that all of the clips look good in terms of sharpness. Six. For the 24 to 70 millimeter F4 clips, I added Final Cut Pro AI enhanced color and light correction. And then finally, I added a Rec 709 LUT to the R3D clip. Six. Comparing sharpness at 160%, R3D clearly looks best. Finally, I compared the two lenses at f4 using R3D. I am less zoomed in with the 24 to 70 millimeter lens and thus zooming in to 160% for the PZ lens and to 180% for the S Mark II zoom lens to make the images of similar size. They look quite similar to me, perhaps slightly sharper with the PZ lens at a one pixel to one pixel ratio at 4K versus a bit less for the 24 to 70 millimeter zoom at F4. Next step will be to learn how to handle raw files in post. I will be traveling soon with the ZR, the PZ lens, and a variable neutral density filter to get more experience. Thanks for watching.